Hello everyone, it is Amanda and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I wish I had a tagline like Carol Baskin and her, hello all you cool cats and kittens, but I just don't. I just don't. Um, these are my empties for November. I'm kind of on it. What is today? December 6th. Um, I'm kind of on it. Oh, not all the way. Hold on. That'll take care of my glare. Cause I forget stuff all the time, all the time. So I already said these are my empties for November. Anyway, let's get started. So Bath and Body, I got Krishna Creations. She calls these slower sh sh shower slushies. And this was strawberry champagne punch. I mean, they're sugar scrubs and they're amazing. They leave your skin so nice and smooth. So if you can't get a hold of a uh, cosmic cleanse, I highly recommend these. I like to alternate between both. Actually, I don't really, um, I like all sugar scrubs, but I really prefer the ones that leave your skin like really nice and soft. Uh, we did finish this. Bath and Body Works Soap in Iced Cinnamon Roll. Where's the scent description? Oh, yeah. Blend of warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange, and sugar glaze. Oranges in my nose. I just can't smell them, but this definitely smelled like a cinnamon roll. For sure. Candles. I actually got through a shit ton of candles, um, but I had to pedestal type. Oh God, that was bad. Um, candle holders. And then I've been burning some in my office. So this is one. This one actually burned like shit. But it smelled good. The, the wick was off. Like once it got further down, the wick was like, oh God, it still smells good. Off center. And I know, I know, I know if they don't burn right, you can bring them black, back and they'll exchange them, blah, blah, blah. But I don't like to do that. Um, this was pink, lilac, and vanilla. I don't think there's a scent description on this one, but it definitely was lilac-y and it was super strong and it smelled so good. I wish I could have like gotten the whole candle because I like to burn them down till you see the wick pin, but just couldn't. All right. So these little tins from Kushner Creations, these are her Spike Secret stash candles. So they always have something in them. Um, one of these is Drunk Vampire. There's no scent descriptions. She never does that. Um, and the other one was fudge nut brownies. Definitely smelled like I was cooking in my office, which was a little strange, but very yummy at the same time. Sorry, I keep going off screen, just setting them out of the way. All right, so these, well, I really got through two and I'll tell you the story on the other one and when I get to it. So we have Bath and Body Works candles, salted butterscotch. It is warm brown sugar, sweet cream, pinch of sea salt, and melted butter. This kind of, they're butterscotch. Oh yeah, it just smells like a burnt candle. Always to me smells like something is on fire. Like it smells good on cold, but then when you burn the candle, it just smells like something is burning. And I don't mean like a candle is burning. I mean like something is burning somewhere. I don't know. I, I don't, don't like it. Oh, the whipped coffee. This was so good. I hate they're made with essential oils bullshit too. Shout out as espresso. I almost said it. I always say it by accident, like, because I'm from the Midwest, Wisconsin. So I have a tendency to talk really fast. So it always comes out espresso, even though I know it's espresso. But like, I know it, but I always say it the wrong way. If that even makes sense. Whipped sweet cream sugar crystals. Oh, this was a good one. All right, this bad boy. So this is cookies and cream milkshake. I loved this candle. Man, it doesn't smell good anymore. It is a chocolate chip or chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream and chocolate drizzle. Really, it was a chocolate chip cookie. Twice, I forgot to blow this candle out. So twice, it burned all night long. So the first night, the first time I was like, Screw it. I'm going to burn it anyway. Right? Still had some scent left to it. 
But then that night I left it burn for 24 hours again and it was like all the way down and I was like, God damn it. So really I got through two candles and then accidentally burned that one all night long. Sorry, I left my door open. I don't ever do that when I record. All right, melting because this is, we're already five minutes in and I'm rambling. But it's Monday. <sighs> Monday. All right, so these this is my maybe. I don't know. I might have liked it. And I don't like no scent descriptions or having to look them up and search for them. It's not worth it to me sometimes. But this is Swanky Beaches. I just don't know if I liked it. Like it, I, I guess it was a hit or a, a hit and miss. Like I could take it or leave it. I don't know. I just don't know. All right, we have misses. Uh, Rose Girls. No branding. Also a huge pet peeve of mine. Because if I were to give this to somebody, my friend Jennifer would be like, oh, that's Rose Girls. But if I were to give it to like my cousin Brooke, she'd be like, um, what vendor is this? Yeah, it's free advertising. Just put your brand sticker on it. Anyway, raspberry mocha rice krispies treats. This just didn't blend well for me. I don't know. I just did not like this combination. I, I don't know if it was the raspberry because I like the mocha. I like I like raspberry mocha and rice krispie treats. But I don't know. It just did not blend well. Um, this is Kushner Creations Pumpkin Spiced Latte. I think what I didn't like about this one is that it smelled like a super strong pumpkin pie. And I will, I like pumpkin and I don't mind, like I'm not, oh my God, it's pumpkin spice latte season. I'm not that person, but, and I can handle it in wax melts. Dogs, cats, chaos. But this one, I don't know. I just did not like that one. Swanky, flower bomb, vanilla lace, let them eat cake. This one had super potential because I love all these scents. I love all these scents together. I would buy a lot of this scent together. But this one has no scent, nothing whatsoever. I was so disappointed because I was so looking forward to that. All right. Meow. Cats meowing at dogs. I have a dog sleeping in my lap. I have two dogs sleeping at my feet. I have one dog messing at a cat. It's like pure utter chaos around here. All right, so these are all of my hits. Hit, hit, hit. I have, don't go to sleep. Tanshi Mountain Studios. This says Indie Movement, June 2021. I don't know, really know what that means. And then it says Beachside Carnival. Fresh ice cream scoop bread and handfuls of crunchy caramel corn with just a hint of salty sea air. That was a nice one. I literally think, oh no, this is, it isn't all Rose Girls. Oh, I see what happened to All right, Dad Bod. Don't know the scent description. That was a nice one. Lover. Nope, you will not antagonize this little dog. All Nighter Stainless Steel. I love that one. That is such a good scent. Americana Smoothie, as you guys probably already know, that is my number one favorite. Zen Clothes on the Line. It just says Zen Swedish Dream Salt Clothes on the Line. Espresso Donuts at Tiffany's. That was an air lickable one. Lavender Coconut Milk Clothes on the Line. I love all these clothes in the line ones. That was a good, good sampler. I just wish I knew more about clothes in the line. Um, anyway, grape blonde moment. Grape, raspberry, strawberries, iced champagne. Yes. Kissing by the clothes on the line. Whatever this one was, was phenomenal. Sugar cookie latte. That's another one. Yeah, there was a coffee and a clothes on the line sampler. You can see how far behind I am on my on my melting. See, I try to talk too fast. It's just in my DNA. <laughs> Jumping on espresso clouds. Oh, Salt Mountain. Catching Rays. I did not think I would like this one. Bum Bum, Creamy Coconut, Banana, and Suntan Lotion. Sometimes I buy, obviously, things for the other people in my house because I am that way. 
And I was like, oh, my family would really like this one. It has banana in it. Yeah, I loved it. Summer linen, fresh linen, white peach, lavender, and coconut. Bomb pop. This one wasn't as strong as I would have liked, and it was more fizzy pop than the rest, but it's cherry slushy, blue raspberry slushy, and fizzy pop. So I wish it would have been more of the slushies, less of the fizzy pop, but it was still very nice. All right, Krishna Creations. Boardwalk Taffy. Flannel hoodie. This was like in a shrink wrapped, shrink wrapped package. So hard to open. Just, just baked. Fresh baked bread. That was a good one. And MK Body Sweets. Strawberry Moscato. I hate these labels. Sorry, Mary. I don't like your labels. Love you. Love your wax. Don't like your labels. And we have lots more here. All right. These are all from Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Dragonberry. Dragon's blood sweetened by strawberry. Indulge your sense. Sweet melon, apple blossom, and white woods. Per bliss. Mm, the name says it all. Strawberry shortcake, VBN, and pink sugar. Secret Garden. I'm pretty sure this one is a single oil that she changed the name of. Also a pet peeve. But it was good. Jasmine Honey, Rose, Ylang, Orange Blossom, Vanilla Tonka. This one too. This is uh, Best Friends. But it, she named it Waxy Sisters. Boysenberries, Elderberries, Strawberries, Guava, and Pomegranate with a little soft vanilla. All right, we have a ton of Swanky here because I must have ordered Swanky around this time. Buttery Toast and Jam, Cream Cake, Sugar Cane. Mahogany teakwood, coconut milk, and vanilla lace. Yeah, this was all mahogany teakwood. And the other stuff just kind of toned it down a little bit. Not mad about that, though. Shimmering sands. In the clouds. Secret romance. Buttery toast and jam. Strawberry sweet cake. That was a good one. Sage and chamomile. Oh, this was a swanky that I bought in a D-stash. This was a loaf of pixie cream, cotton candy, cookies, cake, candy crush, marshmallow, bubblegum, blonde moment. There was a lot in this, but it was a really, really sweet scent. All right, we got some glitterati, and I don't know, I did I get a mystery box? Um, these were all from June. Did I... Order a D stash? I have no idea. No clue. Anyway, Centaur and Coconut Livin' La Vida Juicy. That was a good one. Blueberry Lemon Donuts. Not my favorite because I am not a big fan of lemon, but my family loved it. Same with this one Lemon Lavender Shortbread. And then there was Strawberry Slush. Yes, that was wonderful. The Melting Co. This was sent to me by my friend Jennifer. It was Bunny Hop, which is fluffy carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Not my favorite scent, but it did blow up my entire downstairs. And then I believe we have last but not least, Teddy Bees. Khaleesi, Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oldwood, Warm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. Yes, I would love more of that. Also this one, Dark Desires, Cashmere Cream, Blackberries, Vanilla Orchard, and Cotton Candy Musk. That was a really good one too. Sweetie Pie, Sweet Strawberries, Vanilla Frosted Cookies, and Strawberry Frosted Cake. And Lavender Honeydew. This one was okay. Lavender Vanilla Coconut Milk and Honey. Okay, hold on. Lavender, Vanilla, Coconut Milk, Honeydew Melon, fresh linen. There we go. That it was just okay. You know, I got a lot of melon out of it, but that is it. That is everything I got through in December. No, nope. we're in December now. This was November's melting. So thank you guys so much for watching this absolutely chaotic video that I just made. I hope you have a wonderful December, a wonderful holiday, whatever you celebrate. And that is all for me now. Ta-ta. 
Have a wonderful day. <laughs>